Next question I'd like to talk about is how do we diagnose PCOS? Right? They're very specific criteria. So no matter what you read on the internet, there's really only three diagnostic criteria and three only to make the diagnosis. And of these three, you have to have any two of the following three. So first and foremost, you have to be skipping periods. Well, that's easy to, to know if you are or you are not. Second is the ovaries on ultrasound have a very characteristic appearance. They end up becoming enlarged and chock full of all of the eggs that never got to pop and go away. So on ultrasound, which is a very easy procedure we can do, takes several minutes and we give you some feedback on it right away, we can tell if you have PCO type ovaries or not. And that's an important part of the diagnosis. The third diagnostic criteria is having signs in your skin or having signs in your blood work of having slightly higher than normal levels of testosterone. Okay, now, I do not mean guy levels, please don't get nervous. What I mean by that is women are about 98% estrogen, about 2% testosterone. And if it's increased instead of 2%, it's like two and a quarter, two and a half percent. That's all we're talking about. Now we can pick that up in the blood. We'll draw that those levels today, get the results back in about a week. The other thing I can do is on physical exam or looking at you, we look for signs in the skin. Now certain things we can look at are excess oiliness to your skin or excess acne, either on your face or your chest or your back, or even extra hairs on your face or other parts of your body that you think are more than your fair share. Now every woman in the world plucks hair. That's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about a little bit more than you think is your fair share. And when we combine that, I can look to see between that and the blood work if you fulfill that criteria. So to diagnose PCOS, you need any two of those three. And we can help work through that and go through that and make the correct diagnosis.